All right, thanks for joining us here on the Fifth Pat Dooley Show. We appreciate everybody for clicking on, and we'll have a special guest today. Ryan Lochte will join us. Of course, uh, it's not like there's a big football game or anything going on this weekend. We had a swimmer come on. How about that? But not just any swimmer, three-time gold medalist. Look forward to hearing what he has to say. He'll also join me for either or. All right, welcome back to the Pat Dooley Show. I'm joined now by our special guest. When I say special, I mean it. Ryan Lochte joins us. We don't have many gold medalists sitting here, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Uh, we have had SEC champions, Heisman winners, but not a, a gold medal. So I uh, appreciate you coming up. Thank you. You're Thanks staying busy now. I mean, I know you just did the Pan Pacific, and uh, what, what, where are you heading next? Uh, right now, I'm back in training. I usually take a break after um, each big competition, but mm -hmm. um, I didn't want to. So I'm back in training, and I'm training for um, in December, we go to Dubai for a short course world championships. When you take a break, I mean, do you stuff yourself with Oreos or uh, lay on the couch, play a lot of PlayStation, that kind of thing? Pretty much. That's <laughs> that's taking a break. Um, definitely not looking at the water, not seeing water. Um, just being a normal person. <laughs> so tell us about the Olympics and what that whole experience was like. And I mean, it had to be exciting, obviously, uh, winning the gold medals and being a part of the whole Phelps of Mania, I guess. I mean, it's it's amazing. Um, definitely, Olympics is like, with all athletes, is like one of the top like things that you mm -hmm. want to get to. And for something for me, uh, it was becoming like my long time like dream, and my goal is to making the Olympic team and getting a gold medal, and having it finally come true. It's just it means like the world to me. What is it with you and what Phelps said? Do you guys have a rivalry, or is it more of a you guys are buddy buddy? I, mean, I saw Phelps said you were the best swimmer in the world the other day. Yeah, um, thanks Phelps, but <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean we have a big rivalry. Um, just lately, um, I've been getting a lot faster, and so now like instead of him always beating me, like I'm beating him, mm -hmm. he's beating me. So I mean we definitely have a good um, rivalry going, and I mean. When it comes like after the pool, like I mean we're friends. Like there's not like if I win, he's not gonna look like down on me. Right. If other way around. So I mean it's it's good. What uh, what's it like though for you the first time you had to shave your body? I always wondered that. I think the first time I remember the first time I shaved my body, I was I think I was like 14. It was for like little championship. And that was meet. before you started swimming, right? <laughs> 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 good one, good one. <laughs> but yeah, I was like 14, and I just remember after my swim meet, I go to school, and all this, ki all these kids like made fun of me, like, "Oh, you shave your legs, you're a girl." <laughs> and, but I mean, like I like my like personality. I mean, I don't really care. Like, it's mm -hmm. what I do. So. What was what? Pers what? How many tenths of a second do you think it saves you? I don't know if it really. I think it's all in your head. Metal? Yeah. yeah. I think once you like shave, like once you dive in that water, you feel like just really good. You feel like loose, like you feel like you're sliding through the water, which I mean, with for any swimmer, I mean, that's what you want to feel. Eh, maybe I should try that. I don't you should try it. Yeah. I bet mean, you'll go fast. <laughs> that's impossible. When you talk about going fast, so faster, you're getting faster. Is it a matter of weight training to get faster or just swim, 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 swim? It's everything. I mean, when I was younger, like um, when I like my first couple of years here at the uh, University of Florida, um, I just trained a lot, like mm -hmm. always up and up and down the pool, like right. just swimming a lot. Now that I'm getting older, um, I'm actually paying more attention to like the little things, whether it's like my starts, my turns, like different stroke techniques, stuff like that, and that's what really is making me become better and eating healthy. I mean, that's probably the biggest thing that I've changed in in the past like year. Like, Just, give me an example of what you won't eat now that you would Well, eaten. I mean, before I was always going to fast food restaurants because I was lazy. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to cook. Um, going Sounds fast food real restaurants. Familiar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> eating soda, potato chips, candy, I mean, just everything. And now, I mean, I don't go to fast food restaurants. I hardly drink soda. Um, I start cooking, I'm like eating salads, yeah, okay. so I mean, it's definitely a big change for me. Now, when you get done with swimming, will you go back to the fast food restaurants? No. <laughs> You're done? I you're, don't you're Mr. think so, because now, huh? um, after the whole, like, after the Olympics, I took like three months off of doing nothing, and I gained a lot of weight, mm -hmm. and 
I don't want to go back like that. <laughs> yeah, well, here's what you could turn into. Okay? Let's look at it that way. Let's talk a little bit about how you got here to the University of Florida. What brought you to, to Gainesville and to attend the uh, University of Florida? Because you're a Canandaigua guy, right? Yeah. That's my fa my family's from there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah they're from Canandaigua, yeah. Whew, freezing. It is cold I up there. can't go back. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, um, I was swimming in um, Daytona Beach for high school, and uh, my dad which was my swim coach at the uh, time, was good friends with the head coach here, Greg Troy. And they were good friends. And he came and watched me swim at one championship meet um, for high school. And uh, it was actually a funny story. Right before my race, like my final race at finals, um, I wasn't there. Like I was, you were supposed to be behind your blocks like five minutes before your race, and I wasn't there. I was. I was like in the back in the gymnasium like playing basketball <laughs> so like I wasn't really focused like yeah. I just doing my own thing like having fun and he said where is he where's Ryan I was like and so they got me I went to the blocks and then I like I broke like the state record or something <laughs> and he was like I want that guy so he came visited my family and me um, sat down for dinner and just said like we're really interested like we want you to come we have a scholarship for you. I was like, I'm sold. Let's yeah, go. That's sweet. I was like, just get me out of my house here. I want to go to college. <laughs> worked out well for you. Worked out well for University of Florida. Yeah. How much did, I mean, how many games did you go to? Was that a, a weekend thing that you would do when you were here, football games? I mean, yeah, when I was um, in college, I went to every game. Um, no matter what, like, we have a tradition as a swim team, like, you have to, like, have your shirt off, and, like, every time we score a touchdown, you have to do a pile on. Really? Like in the stands. So, I mean, <laughs> it's good. It's good. I mean, it was so much fun. So, I went to every football game. So, so people probably thought you were loaded if you're doing that up there. Yeah. The <laughs> we're all jumping on each other. Yeah. <laughs> all right, give me the call on uh, Saturday's game, Florida Alabama. It's a big game. What, what's your feeling on it? I mean, I'm going to have to go for Florida. Yeah. I mean, always. I, I, th I kind of thought you might do that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, Ryan's going to rejoin me for either or in just a minute, but right now it's time for the list. All right, now it's time for either or. Ryan's back, and he's going to go over our four questions. And let's start off with this one first, Ryan. Tougher to swim across the English Channel or Lake Alice? I'm seriously going to have to go with a Lake Alice. <laughs> I mean, I've been there. I've seen a lot of alligators. And one of my goals before I leave Gainesville is to wrestle an alligator. Really? Yeah. A small one, I would assume. <laughs> of course, small one. Yeah. Has anybody <laughs> ever swum across Lake Alice? I know they have the English Channel. I don't, I don't think they have. And, I mean... I would like to be the first. That'd be fun. I think Tebow did. He might have walked across it though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, tougher gig: winning a gold medal or modeling for GQ magazine. I I saw your GQ spread. I mean, that was probably an all-day thing, wasn't it? It was an all-day thing. I'm gonna. Ha Maybe I might have to go with the GQ. <laughs> I mean, you've done all that preparation all those years for the Olympics, and then your races. You get on the blocks. Your race is over in what, like yeah. less than two minutes. And the GQ shoot, man, that was all day. Yeah, it's tough work <laughs> being a model. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like Zoolander, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, number three, game you'd rather be at in person this week. And we know you're going to Gulf Shores, but if you could be at one of these, Stanford, Oregon, or Texas, Oklahoma? I'm going to have to go with Texas, Oklahoma. Uh, I think that's going to definitely be a big game to watch. And you get the Just state fair next door. They fry anything there. Oh, for real? Even oh. beer. They fry fried beer, and I don't know how they do that. But I don't know how they do that, too. It's Homer Simpson's to, dream. I'm going to have to go check that out. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's going, he's going to the game. Uh, yeah, fried Snickers, fried... I think somebody told me they have fried vodka. I want to see that. Um, <laughs> number four, that may have been why you guys were piling on each other in the stands. You were eating fried yeah, vodka. That could have been... <laughs> uh, number four, team with a better chance to go to a bowl game this year, Georgia or Kentucky? You know what? I'm going to have to decline both <laughs> just because I'm Florida. I'm going to have to say Florida's going to go to the national championship. Yep, and neither so. one of those guys are going anywhere. Nope. Could very well happen. One in three, Kentucky or Georgia, and because Kentucky's had their easy games, and we'll see where they end up going. Um, they got a game this week at Ole Miss. It'll be a big game for them. All right, Ryan, thanks for coming by. We'll be right back. Dr. Football's email bag is next.